water permeability of concrete. The first variation of this test basically has a concrete disc here and water under pressure is pushed through this disc and collected at the other end. So, this test is essentially suited for concretes with high permeability. Otherwise, you can imagine that it will take either immense pressure to push the concrete through or it will take a lot of time. The test is carried out using a disc of concrete and involves water flowing through the disc at a steady rate. To accelerate the process, pressure is applied to the water and it should be borne in mind that the disc cannot be made too thin and the permeability of concrete being essentially low, the experiments could take a long time. The disc thickness is obviously a parameter and has to be determined in light of the pressure being used. If there is too much pressure, the disc should not basically break. Now, once we know the amount of water that collects here over a period of time, we know the cross sectional area and the thickness that we have here, we can calculate the permeability in the traditional manner. Now, a variation of that test in which the water does not necessarily have to appear at the other end is this test, which says that the specimen is a large specimen, so this whole thing is concrete here and water is ponded on one side and pressure is applied and after a fixed time, the specimen is split and the depth of water penetration is observed. So, as we apply pressure on the water on the one face of concrete, it permeates into the concrete and after a certain fixed time, if we split this test, if we split this cylinder we get something like this and this depth of penetration of water becomes an indicative parameter for the permeability of concrete. This depth is taken as a measure of the permeability and some recommendations for estimating the permeability in centimeters per second or meters per second are also available relating it to this height. So, this too is not a direct measurement of permeability in the traditional units of centimeters per second, but an indirect measure of the water permeability of concrete. Like the previous test, this test also has the potential of being used for specification writing and also for comparing the performance of different concretes. In fact, now let us go to the 